live at noon. Six people killed in an unusually late season storm system that ripped through several states across the Midwest. And good afternoon, everyone. I'm Vince Petrano. And I'm Samara Sotis. You're watching live at noon. Well, one of the hardest hit communities is the town of Washington, Illinois. Cody Holyoke is on the ground there. And he's bringing us our first look at just how devastating the storm is for this community. It's about 15,000 people. It is just amazing when you look at all of the devastation here in the small city of Washington. About 15,000 people call this place home. Many of their homes and businesses have been reduced to rubble. This place behind me yesterday was an advanced auto parts store. The rebar and cement was just crumbled. Behind this, countless neighborhoods have been flattened. Three to 500 homes, according to the city's mayor, have just been destroyed. Residents aren't even being allowed in yet because there's a concern there may be live power lines tossed throughout this rubble. It's just heartbreaking when you look at all the damage. Trees have been snapped like matchsticks, farms and homes gone, traffic lights destroyed. This city has no power right now. Police have really clamped down on letting people in and out to try to prevent looting and to keep homeowners at this point safe. And when you look at the scope of this devastation, it is amazing that only one person died. The city really trying to come back together after that violent storm. In Washington, Illinois, Cody Holyoke, today's TMJ4. Thank you, Cody. And